Their arrival in Terrace was delayed by crummy weather down in Vancouver Saturday. But the two-person CBC TV scouting team eventually made its way through the gates at the Northwest Regional Airport just after 3.30 in the afternoon, with Terrace's Hockeyville committee and the new mayor, Dave Pernarowski, on hand for the official welcome. Meantime, outside in front of the airport arrival gate, a pickup game of ball hockey was already well underway. And even though it was a bit chilly outside, it was a pretty heated affair, as the CBC folks were able to see for themselves. However, this was only just a taste of what was in store. Later that evening, the Terrace River Kings were hosting the Prince Rupert Rampage in a CIHL hockey game. Prince Rupert has its own Hockeyville bid in, as does Hazleton's Ken Trombley Memorial Arena, affectionately known as the Barn. The Terrace Hockeyville committee was hoping for a large crowd Saturday night, but I don't think they were prepared for this. The Terrace Arena was jammed to capacity, and both hockey teams put their best skates forward, and the fans responded with gusto. I mean, for the Hockeyville thing, it was a lot of fun seeing a crowd like that, and it was noisy, and uh, to be honest, since my three years, I haven't played in something like that, so that, that was a lot of fun. It was quite an experience. But the big event planned for the weekend was Terrace's answer to the NHL Winter Classic, some good old-fashioned pond hockey on the frozen surface of Lake Else Lake. The novice teams were here, the eight- and nine-year-olds. They typically have a game at 11 o'clock on um, t today, and they decided to play their game out here at the Lake Else Lake picnic site. What organizers didn't count on was the heavy snowstorm that hit the terrace area yesterday. That undoubtedly cut down on the number of people who braved their way out to the Lake Hells Lake picnic site. But as you can see, there were more than a few hardy souls who were up to the task. It's a great day for snow. Uh, lots of it, um, but lots of people, despite the snow, came out to, to join us. Will all this impress the CBC folks? Well, we won't know that until the top 10 Canadian Hockeyville towns are announced on Wednesday, January 14th. I think Terrace has, is, is a very strong Hockeyville contender. I think our hockey spirit, our community pride, our sense of, of just being uh, working as a whole in the community will, will, will give us some energy to, to move towards that. For CFTK TV News in Terrace, I'm John Crawford.